And today we're going to take a look at the procedure of replacing a power supply in an Alpha Server 4100. And we have our longtime veteran tech, Andrew Fieger, here. And he's going to go ahead and start the process now. All right. So, got the server up in the cart, took it out of the cab. You could uh, probably do this procedure. Uh, the tray pulls out far enough while you're in the cab. We're just doing this for ease of uh, whatever. But there's basically two screws on each side. These screws uh, hold the uh, power tray out. Just take that out. So it's a good idea to have something right here. Just dumping those things in. And then typically we have two screws. These are already out, but there's two screws right here that have to come out. Don't touch these guys yet. Um, you know, that basically removes that front tray and that slides right out. There's two tracks, so it just pulls straight out. You can kind of see the channel right here. While you're putting it back in, be mindful when you're, you know, lining these channels up to, to make sure that you, you feed it in and then push it forward. And here's your power supplies. You got three of them. Starting from left, power supply zero, power supply one, and power supply two. Uh, I know we have a bad one right here, so it came up and said that power supply one had failed. So we're gonna be, uh, you know, disassembling. Now here's the, here's the tricky part. If you can kind of get a good shot in here, you got a bunch of cables going in here, and uh, that's the very reason. There's not a lot of room here up until you move that tray back. And the best thing to do is just start, you know, disconnecting, disconnecting these cables out. Just pull these out just like this. You know, if you're gonna replace all of them, you can leave them in the harness. It's not gonna go anywhere. These kind of get a little bit tricky. Just kind of pinch and, you know, typical Molex connectors. Um, instead of jamming your hand down and getting your hand all jacked up, this is where we pull this this uh, tray forward and if you look you'll see how it kind of fastens inside the the outside of the chassis and you can kind of tilt it forward rock it a little bit and it'll only come forward so much because of the harness but it gets it gives you enough space so you can actually get a good grip in some of these cables while you're disconnecting them and you just kind of there's so much pressure on these all you have to really do is just you know push forward this little clip on each of the the power blocks and then just get them loose and you'll feel it click and you can almost hear it snap and they uh, they can you can kind of pull it out from there there's one last one down here if you can kind of see catch this angle down down in the very bottom don't forget them don't forget all these down here and then you just kind of do whatever this is a it gets pretty nasty so big deal just keep can get kind of tight, just get your other hand in there and just kind of, the, the secret is just to un make sure that clip is, you know, disconnected from the, the block itself. If you got to start opening up yourself more room on the side, then just go ahead and, you know, they're all going to come out, so. All right, we've got them all unplugged. We can take the whole assembly out, just like this, kind of push that wire harness back, and then you can kind of tilt back, this just slides right out. Now you have the whole power assembly. Place it up on a area where you can start working out. Now, this is where we start popping these these uh, these trays out. And this this whole thing, this whole front is part of this tray here. So the whole, it doesn't come out. You just, that's where the, the, the front of the power supply is bolt into this, this main uh, power tray itself. So we have these guys we're gonna take out. And then if you look at the top or come around the back here, you'll see that the, there's actually room for, um, you know, two on the back on the back tray. It's not necessary, obviously, but you know, you just gotta make. Kind of helps if you get a longer screwdriver too, but that drill won't work because of the angle. Yeah, I can see you're starting to bleed there, Handy. This is a uh, common oh, yeah. for working on an yep. Alpha Server 4100. Yep. <clears throat> the edges are a little 
sharp back here. They are, and you know, coming to, coming around here, the these are quite stiff. These aren't very friendly at all. The the power connectors. So probably drew a little bit on that one. So right now we're just gonna pop these guys out. There's one free, two free, and they're all free. I'm gonna take my screws, dump them in here, make sure that they don't go. Okay, I already know that this one's bad, so this one's out of the picture. So, notice how I just slid them out, they just pop right out, and then you just mm, pop the next batch in. We've got um, a couple we're gonna test here. We know this guy's good, so. Got a couple that we need to test. So we'll just kind of place those in the tray. Kind of slide them forward, get them in, get them lined up here. Obviously power plug goes in the front. All right, here we go. Just be careful when you're, uh, you saw me take them out with a drill. That's always faster, but when you're putting them back in, you know, it's always a good idea to do a hand tool. That way you're, uh... uh I think we had... I think these two, if you look at the, um... The number. This is kind of key. When you're putting this assembly back together, you see that kind of... You gotta leave these two out. Because that's... A, whatever, so... You can kind of go ahead and, uh, put that in. And make sure you get the screws on. I put this one intentionally so you saw what I was talking about. That screw will not, the lid will not go on without that, you know, with that uh, screw in, obviously. So, we're gonna back that out. That one's gonna be the, what do we say? We had, we had that one and this one. So, we'll go ahead and, funny because he's gonna just um, good now that we have the power supplies inside the tray I'm just gonna pick this guy up gently feed it inside kind of push it in now this is this is where if you see this tab right here this is where that tab goes in these in this hole right here okay so when you're pushing it back home Make sure you're not, you want to sit that, see the top, see down here? Make sure you're not rolling over these power cables when you push the tray back in. So you gotta be kind of mindful of where that stuff is. A lot of times you just tuck, tuck the uh, main harness underneath this uh, shelf, and then you can just go ahead, keep in mind, you know, where that, where that is, and kind of go ahead and whatever. Okay, now here, you wanna try to hit the bottom ones first. And just roll this out. This is where patience comes in. Yeah. This is where being tall comes in. <laughs> so you just kind of... Yeah, my arms are going to be all over the place back here. Let's see. A lot of times if you want to... Uh... Best practice is to close each power supply out because you can get in a hurry and forget this cable. This is a sink, you know, the sink cable with the power, so you just gotta. Push. Okay, now we've got them all plugged in and pay special attention to this section right here. You wanna make sure that when you push that tray back, you're not rolling back over those cables. So as we push this, we're keeping and we're, we're paying attention to the wire harness. We're also paying attention to the uh, seating of this um, this clip inside the outside of the chassis. So we just kind of roll it. You see how this kind of goes inside here? And then after that's all done and we verified that the cables are clear, then we'll go ahead and push it home. Just like that. And at this point, you just go ahead and put your screws back inside the uh, side tray. Uh -oh. That one a little bit. Further. Just gotta line them up. Yeah, 
Oh yeah. Push this forward just a little bit. Okay. And for for video's sake, obviously you're gonna have these other screws and stuff like that in there. You're gonna have them on yours. And here we are with a, a lid switch. Uh, interesting uh, concept that uh, Alpha's done with these is, is basically these uh, these uh, switch assemblies. So it's a good idea to kind of inspect them and make sure that you know everything's intact and everything's there. We really didn't incorporate any kind of uh, any kind of um, magnet like the, some of the next generation. But here we are. We're, we're placing that inside the track, and we're just gonna push it home just like that. And that's that's about it. So. Okay, you can't hear it, but um, one thing Benny's, you know, kind of discovered and, and shared with the, with myself over the years is, is the fact that these power supplies is a real telltale sign if they're good or bad when you when you apply the power. I've got live 220 right here, um, you know, and, and right when you plug it in, they make this distinct like real faint buzzing sound. And typically, if they don't make that sound then chances are you have a bad power supply and you have to redo this, whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, power this up right now. We're gonna apply it. You can't I, really hear it because I got- I, I can hear it, but I don't know if they'll be able to hear it on the right. video. Okay, I can hear that one. That one already fired up. And then we got this one, so. Now the system should start to power on. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna exercise the uh, power switch and then I'm gonna turn it back on. And then we're gonna head on. I don't know how well they'll be able to see this, but this is the system with its power on self test fired up right now. Okay, now it's finished its post test, or its power on self test, also known as post. And Andy's going to type a command here, uh, probably show power. And that should give us an output as to whether or not we were successful. And now you can see as before you didn't see the video, but it used to be power supply zero was bad. And now you can see all three are good. Zero, one, and two. Uh, it logged a previous event in the system log. So we're just gonna go ahead and go in there. And as you can see, you had power one, power supply two, failure, whatever. We're gonna clear these things so it doesn't, you know, basically a little bit of housekeeping. Show power again. Oops. And we're, we're solid, so 